Today I'm going to show you how I'm adding R10 to my garage with a stucco system called EFIS. That's E-I-F-S, Exterior Insulated and Finishing System. Now, the way that this compares, and I want to show you in thinking about projects as a whole, is I'm doing this on my garage because I need to rebuild my garage right now. Then I'm going to use the same system on my house. And the reason we're shooting this video at this stage is because I want to show you how I'm tying the, you know, it's an insulated system that goes in the exterior, how I'm going to tie it in with my attic insulation, stop thermal bridging, and this is what I'm going to do on my house as well. I'm going to take off all my siding, I'm going to remove my soffits, and I'm going to run my insulation just like we're going to do here, up to the bottom of my trusses, or even further if I can, and uh, and then as the goal of this video is to show you okay you can do this system or if you want to compare it to like a composite type material or engineered wood siding that type of thing they're from my experience especially is they're almost identical in cost but this stucco system will add our value uh, it looks amazing and it's easy to do and the other thing I like about it it doesn't have mechanical fasteners they're putting screws into your building it's all everything's um, or bonded with uh, materials like glues or mortars and polymers that type of thing okay so like I said if if you're thinking about a project and you want to renovate and you have an older place um, and you want to stay there or just make it top-notch I'd highly recommend just going the EFA system, the, the stucco, and uh, maybe rather than a cement board or a hardboard because in the end, you, you're, they're about the same cost, just this system adds insulation value, like I said. Okay, So I'll try to go through this quickly just in a nutshell of how it works and why it works. So, okay, so I have this product, it's called Gold Coat TA, a trowel on barrier that's kind of the step one then these are my trusses so I'm gonna have attic insulation up in here these are my insulation stops this is just a plywood one we had strips of plywood left over um, there's cardboard that runs up further leaving a one inch air gap between the cardboard and the sheathing now that all works with your attic and your soffit and the, the ventilation of your attic right so I'll make another video just separate on that showing you the science behind all that the next step that we're going to do is we're going to mix up a product called BTS. It's a ready to mix bag polymer cement. It can be used in an adhesive and a base coat is what they use in the acrylic stucco world. So what we'll do is we'll mix up a batch of that. We'll trowel it onto this foam. Now this is EPS foam, but it because of the color difference it looks gray. And that's because this type of EPS was actually infused with, uh, oh, what is it, graphite. So don't be thrown off by that. It's not the typical white foam, um, but it is EPS, the, the standard foam you're supposed to use. So we'll trowel this. We'll do a notch trowel. We'll bond this to the gold coat, right? Now, you want to do it in vertical lines so that if moisture does get through, the whole point of this system is moisture gets through but there's no mechanical fasteners that it can actually penetrate into your building and rot it out you do the vertical lines water can get through it it's kind of a rain screen and an air barrier it can breathe but also um, water and material can run down and then if you do the system properly it comes on top of a drip cap and back out so you keep the moisture you, you have a you give it a way out of the building and then it also can breathe okay now like I said this isn't a scientific video this is just to generalizations right now we can get into specifics on another one but in essence at this stage what we're doing is we're gonna bond this up high so that if you can imagine this this two inch foam is right to the very top of my wall it's bonded I can then put my soffit on 
Now when I do my soft, I'll just put some like two layers of three quarter inch plywood above it so that I'm not going to rely on screws through foam. Everything will be bonded up high and that way, you know, my soffits in the wind can't blow up. If I just put screws into foam, it's not going to hold. Okay, so I'm already getting a little too specific. But you can see this, the insulation is up there. But then when I do my blown in attic insulation, it's coming out right out to here. So I'm totally covering all the wood in my wall and the two top plates of my wall. I have a nice even amount of insulation all the way around. Okay, stops thermal bridging. It's a beautiful system. Yeah, so I think for now that mostly covers it. We'll put this on, we'll get my soffits done that way during the winter time I won't have birds and stuff living in my attic then in the spring we'll finish the gold coat I'll do all my flashings and all that then we'll, bo we'll bond all our full sheets on and then we'll finish the stucco system but just keep this in mind if you're planning projects you know this is a huge advantage in the building world and the reason I like it like I said before adding insulation value no mechanical fasteners I love the way the system works so just just one thing to keep you guys educated basically more ideas for you that's it for now thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video please subscribe to our YouTube channel or check us out on some of the following